I was trying to decide how I would kind of showcase my time here. So I'm going to try the whole vlog process, but most of it will kind of be boring because it'll just be me sitting, talking to the camera because most times I'm too uh, shy to be outside and talking really loudly to get... <laughs> but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So for my first vlog, I really didn't know how do I break the ice, you know? <laughs> Um, but I think I'll just make a list. I'll make a list of differences I've noticed between Brive and Vancouver. Because why not, right? <laughs> Alright, here we go. So first off, when you buy bread from the bakery, don't expect it to be covered. Because it won't be. Basically a third of it will be touching whatever else you have bought. It always only covers two thirds of the bread, which... So with Asian restaurants, and I call them Asian restaurants because it's never fully one type of restaurant. The one that's near me is a Vietnamese, Chinese, and Thai restaurant. It makes for an interesting menu, especially when um, frog legs are an option. Also if they offer you baguettes, they're not what you think. They're chopsticks. One thing that's obviously really French is les bees. When uh, somebody comes up to you and gives you two kisses and your cheeks touch. Now, this is something that I definitely am still getting used to because it's just like so much human contact with someone that you don't always really know that well. The beginning. I could always feel my cheeks getting so red because I was so embarrassed because it's such close human proximity to my face. Okay, this is one of my favorite things about being here in Brive. Not even five minutes walking, there is a bus stop and this bus stop has La Navette. La Navette is a shuttle and this bus shuttle in particular that goes right downtown and also goes all the way to the train station, which is 40 minutes walking for me. It's free. It is free. That blows my mind. It's incredible. I have only ever paid for the bus once. So when I get on the Navette, and then I get off La Navette, you go in and you say bonjour. But when you leave, sometimes you also say bonjour. You say merci too, but sometimes you say bonjour because here, it also means have a good day. Unlike in Vancouver, where primarily you only use it to say hello, you can also use it to say goodbye in the have a good day sense. Probably one of the biggest things I'm trying to get used to is the fact that a lot of businesses are closed Sundays and Mondays, and then during the week, they're closed between 12 and 1.30 p.m. for lunch. I like it in a way because it allows people to really relax during that time. But if I want, if I'm in, if I happen to be in town and I want to go quickly purchase something, I can't because they're closed during my lunch break. So Brive, which has a population of 50,000 people, is a town. It's a small town, and it's one of my favorite parts of being here that it is not too small, has a lot of the facilities that I like and I need, except for a proper Asian restaurant, but that's a non-complaint at this point. But it's not too big at the same time. And I really feel at home here. The climate is very similar to the one in Vancouver, and everybody is just really nice. I have had great conversations with random people on the bus or in town, and everybody's very curious and welcoming, which is what I like. I mean, one thing that I ended up doing was because I bought the duck breasts for the first time, I had no idea how to cook it, so I asked the butcher that was there, but he was really busy, so he kind of just gave me a few tips, and then the lady that was buying meat beside me actually uh, told me some tips, and then while I was on the bus coming back, 
There was another two people on the bus that helped me when I asked them, like a super foreigner. But I mean, in the end, I cooked great duck, so super foreigner. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. It got super dark as I was making this, so sorry for the change of lighting, but I'm no professional, so I'm using a desk lamp. <laughs> But I'm gonna take this time to recommend music that I have found and I love. This week I've been listening to a band called Power Bottoms. It's just two guys, they alternate playing guitar and drums and they kind of do a glam rock punky sound. It's just so good. I've been listening to it over and over again. I really hope you check them out. Oh, they're so good.